students we have already started with the first chapter rational numbers and today we are going to start with the properties of multiplication of rational numbers so the properties of multiplication the very first property of multiplication of two rational numbers is commutative property which one commutative property the commutative property says that if we change the order of multiplication of two rational numbers it won't affect the result for example i give you one example so that it will be clear if i write an example like 4 upon 9 into minus 1 upon 2 now i am multiplying these two rational number one is 4 upon 9 and another one is minus 1 upon 2 if i change the order of multiplication means i am writing minus 1 upon 2 before 4 upon 9 and i am multiplying then the answer in both the cases the result in both the cases will remain same that is the commutative property i told you earlier also that you can verify the property by showing by solving both lhs side and rhs side lhs side here is 4 upon 9 into minus 1 upon 2 that will be the lhs side i am writing now solve it 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 that is equal to minus 2 upon 9 so you are getting the result minus 2 upon 9 the multiplication of these two similarly solve the rhs side rhs side is minus 1 upon 2 multiply 4 upon 9 and again cancel so it will gives minus 2 upon 9 so you can see in both the cases lhs and rhs side is same they both are equal and hence it verified the commutative property i hope this is clear fine now we will move on to the next property of multiplication that is associative property which property is this associative property now for associative property i again give you example for example we are taking 4 upon 9 multiply minus 1 upon 2 multiply 3 upon 2 here i am taking three rational numbers one is 4 upon 9 minus 1 upon 2 is the second and the third one is 3 upon 2 now let me i can do like this that i can multiply the last two rational numbers first whatever result i get i then multiply that with the first one and i get one answer similarly i can also solve this same problem 4 upon 9 minus 1 upon 2 multiply by 3 upon 2 if i multiply the first two rational numbers this can also be possible in both the cases i solve this way or i solve this way in both the cases the answer will remain same the result will be same and this property is called associative property means we can multiply the last two rational numbers or we multiply the first two rational number it won't affect the result this again we can verify by taking the lhs side and again the rhs side fine now i'm taking the lhs side i'm copying it 1 up 4 upon 9 into minus 1 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 we will solve the bracket first nothing is cancelled so we can write 4 upon 9 multiply by minus 3 upon 4 now we will multiply these two we can cancel 4 cancel with 4 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 so it is minus 1 upon 3 all right similarly we will solve for the rhs we will copy the rhs side 4 upon 9 into minus 1 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 this time we are solving the first two rational numbers so the multiplication we will cancel that is minus 2 upon 9 by solving these two two ones are two 9 ones are 9 multiply by 3 upon 2 3 1 are 3 3 3 is a 9 2 2 cancel again we are getting minus 1 upon 3 so in both the cases lhs and rhs are equal 
so we can say LHS is equal to RHS hence verified so this property associated property is also verified now we will move on to the next property the next property is distributive property this is also very important property of multiplication distributive property again I am taking an example for example I am taking 4 upon 9 multiply 1 upon 2 plus 3 upon 2 fine so this is the bracket in which I am taking two rational numbers and there is a sign of plus between the two and I have to multiply this bracket with 4 upon 9 fine so when I open this bracket I have to distribute this 4 upon 9 to 1 upon 2 also and 3 upon 2 means I will write it in this way 4 upon 9 multiply by 1 upon 2 plus this plus will remain same then again this 4 upon 9 get multiplied by 3 upon 2 first I multiply 4 upon 9 with the first rational number 1 upon 2 I keep the sign plus if it is plus I will keep plus here if it is minus I will keep minus here no problem then 4 upon 9 is multiplied with 3 upon 2 the second rational number I keep here now we have to solve this this will be 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 that is equal to 2 upon 9 2 ones are 2 9 ones are 9 solve this also 2 twos are 4 3 ones are 3 threes are plus 2 upon 3 now take the LCM 9 will be the LCM it is 9 will be the LCM then 9 ones are 9 1 twos are 2 3 3 is a 9, 3 2 is a 6. 2 plus 6 is 8 upon 9. So we are getting the answer 8 upon 9. Fine. We can also solve this question. We can also solve this question by solving the bracket first. This is the way we are solving by applying which property? Distributive property. Fine. But we can also solve this question by opening the, by solving the bracket first. Like I can solve it as 4 upon 9 multiply. I take the LCM of this bracket. 2 will be the LCM. And what will come in the numerator? 1 plus 3. Like this. So it will be 4 upon 9 into 1 plus 3 is again 4 upon 2. Is this clear? 2 1s are, 2 2s are. Again, 2 4s are 8, 9 1s are 9. So, you can see in both the cases, the result is same. Fine. So, in either of the way you do, it won't affect the result. It won't affect the answer. It's up to you. But if it is mentioned that you have to apply the distributive property, then you have to apply this math. Yes. Now, let's start with the, the next multiplicative inverse. Now, the next topic is multiplicative inverse so multiplicative inverse of a rational number is nothing it is just the reciprocal so multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is one and the same thing like if I have to find minus 3 upon 4 the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 upon 4 for example I have to find then it will be what it will be 4 upon minus 3 or you can write it as minus 4 upon 3 fine okay now the next thing the next topic is division division of two rational numbers now in order to divide two rational numbers, for example, we are taking 4 upon 3 divided by 2 upon 9. These are the two rational numbers we have to divide. So, what we will do? We will write 4 upon 3. We will convert this sign of division into multiplication. And we will do the reciprocal of the second rational number. So, reciprocal of 2 upon 9 will be 9 upon 2. Then it is simply a multiplication and thus 3 1s are 3 3s are 9, 2 1s are 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. So the answer is 6. Okay. Similarly, 
if i give you one more question simplify i give you a question simplify for example you have to simplify 4 upon 3 divided by 2 upon 9 in a bracket divided by 6 now what will you do you will solve the bracket first for solving the bracket you will write 4 upon 3 the sign of division changes into multiplication 2 upon 9 should be reciprocate and it will be 9 upon 2 and divide 6 as it is then 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 2 threes are 6 6 divided by 6 fine 3 twos are 6 this divide sign as it is this 6 as it is now again this 6 will remain same now this division sign will change into multiplication and the reciprocal of this 6 will be 1 upon 6. Correct? So it will be 6 1s are 6, 6 1s are 6 and 1 will be the result. 1 will be the answer. So like this the question can be asked simplify and you can solve it. Now we will move on to next stop. Next question. Insert a rational number between the given two rational numbers between 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 2. We have to insert one rational number between these two given rational number. So what is the method? For this question, the method is 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2. Add the two rational numbers, keep it in a bracket and then multiply these two the, the bracket with 1 upon 2. In order to find a rational number between two given rational numbers, these are the two given rational number 1 upon 3, 1 upon 2, we have to find a rational number between these two. Fine. So this rational number, if I suppose this rational number is x, this rational number can be found by applying this method. The method is we have to add these two rational numbers 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2 and multiply them by 1 upon 2. Always we have to multiply by 1 upon 2. So this will be, again we have to solve the bracket first. We will take the LCM. 6 will be the LCM of 3 and 2. Then 3, 2 is a 2, 1. 2, 3 is a 3, 1 is a 3. That is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 is 5 upon 6. Nothing is cancelled. So 5 ones are 5, 2 6 are 12. Fine. So it will become 5 upon 12. So answer is 5 upon 12. A rational number between the two given rational numbers. Is this clear? The method is clear. Similarly, if I give you another question. Insert two rational numbers. between suppose minus 3 and 3 we have to find how many rational number two rational numbers between minus 3 and 3 now see this is minus 3 and this is 3 we have to find any two rational number between these two you know minus 3 and 3 if we in uh, what are the numbers which come between uh, minus 3 and 3 it can be minus 2, fine. It can be minus 1. It can be 0. It can be 1. It can be 2. And after that this means these are the different rational numbers which are coming in between minus 3 and 3. We have to give only two rational numbers so we can give any. You can give minus 2 and minus 1. That is also right. You can give minus 1 and 0. That is also right. You can give minus 2 and 2. Any rational number you can give which is coming in between minus 3 and 3. Fine. So, we can insert any number of rational number between two given numbers. Like if I give you another question. Insert 6 rational numbers between minus 5 upon 8 and 3 upon 8. How many rational numbers we have to insert? 6. Now you can see these two rational numbers have the same denominator. This is also 8. This is also 8. So we, if the denominator is same, fine. Like I am writing here, minus 5 upon 8 
and 3 upon 8 here. So the denominator is same. So I can check the numerator. Minus 5. Before uh, minus 5 and 3. What are the numbers which are coming between minus 5 and 3? It will be minus 4. It will be minus 3. Minus 2. Minus 1. 0. 1. And 2. Put commas in between. And the denominator of every number is 8. The denominator remains same. Like this. So, how many rational numbers we have to find? 6. So, we can, this minus 4 upon 8 is one rational number. Minus 3 upon 8 is the second. Minus 2 upon 8 is the third. Minus 1 upon 8 is the fourth. 0 upon 8 is the fifth. And this is 1 upon 8. This is the sixth. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 upon 8 can also be written as 0. We can say 0 upon 8 as 0. 0, we divide 0 by any number, it becomes 0. So, we can say 0 also. No problem in that. Fine. So, like, the, like this, we have to insert any number, any rational numbers we can insert between the two given numbers. But if